Hey family, welcome to Ohana House. In this video, we're going to show you a huge patio transformation that we did on our downstairs patio. This is actually a part of a project we're doing for a campaign that we can't wait to show you in the future. So excited. We are getting our patio ready for a live outdoor fall fun. So let me show you how we do it. Also, if you have not done so already, please subscribe to this channel, like and comment. Let us know what you think. Let's jump right in. Top of the morning. Good morning. Um, top of the morning. Today is concrete day. It is. We are getting our patio extended today. What's your vision for the patio? Really pumped to have a lounge area right here and I can grill so people can hang out and we can kind of just chill. I like the idea of like, because right now we don't have like a pergola or anything where you can have like an umbrella. So when it's really sunny, you get the sun, get the vitamin D on the rays, on the skin. <laughs> and we can kind of just hang out and just chill here. Also, I can eat down here. Um, I like the grill a lot. So I forgot I about the grill. Where is the grill going to go? The grill's going to be somewhere around here, probably. Somewhere in this like area. Like where you're standing, maybe? Yeah, in, in this vicinity. So like when you grill, it's like kind of like grill to table. Instead of farm to table, grill to table. <laughs> And over there we can lounge, over there have coffee sometimes in the morning. Like I like to read in the morning. So having another spot where I can kind of just relax and enjoy nature. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, now we're just waiting for the concrete guys to get here. Where are they? Where are they? We we're, we're ready for our new patio. I'm so excited. We have some something planned coming up in a few days. So we're super excited to get it together. And I'm also excited to decorate it and transform the space and make it look really cute. We want to get some lighting for right there too. You mean right there? Right there where my well, your, finger is. Your finger is out of the frame. Right there. Right yeah, there. right there. When this house was built, the downstairs patio had this very skinny slab of concrete that looked kind of like a sidewalk, which is pretty common for new construction. They typically don't go all out on your patio unless you pay extra and you um, ask them to do it earlier on in the process. So we knew that for us to have the patio that we wanted, that we would have to get our patio extended. Thank you, babe. What you thinking? I don't think I'm thinking. I just hope it's level. <laughs> you wanted to slope down? Oh no, that's so sad. Also, our backyard is on a downward slope because the storm drain is in our backyard. The ground under the concrete also had to be leveled. So the guys took some dirt from the back of our backyard brought it up to the front and leveled our um, leveled under the patio before pouring the concrete. This whole process took about a regular work day. It was kind of like between nine and five um, where they came to do the prep work and also to lay the concrete. I did this all by myself. It took me all day, but I got it all done. You know, I really, really, I know that she showed you video of what I did, what other people may have looked like they've done, but I really did it. I just want to try. But I'm joking. I'm lying. I'm really lying. But it looks great. It I does. mean, this is what our patio should have looked like in the beginning, but that's neither here nor there. No. Um, It looks great. I'm excited to walk on it and I'm so tempted, but I can't. I no, cannot. we have to wait 24 hours so to can, let it. But I gotta look at it. 24 hours for it to cure. I asked Star if I can put my head print on there, but apparently there could be some issues with cement and like going in the ears and all that stuff. So we had to settle with just a flat. He definitely didn't want to do that. Okay. He didn't even want to do handprints or I anything. Did. But it looks great. I'm so excited <laughs> to grill out here. Now yes. I want to grill downstairs. I'm pretty pumped. I want to grill right now while it's dry. I'm just going to grill right here. 
I actually, it actually looks bigger than what I was afraid. I told you. I was afraid because of how small our, our deck is. She didn't listen. She wasn't trying to listen to me. I was afraid because of how how small our deck is that it wasn't going to be enough space. But you got a smorgasbord of space. I don't this, know but like, I don't. I guess I. I don't know, it's a lot more space than what I imagined. I don't know if the context even made sense for smorgasbord, but I felt like the word was appropriate. What's a smorgasbord? Smorgasbord? I think it's like a whole lot of things on one board, but it's still a big board, man. Nonetheless. Never heard of it before. Never heard of that guy. Google it. What are we doing? So right now we are about to shop for some decor pieces for the patio. Throw pillows, babe. Some I just cute. I just threw a pillow. Did you see it? It was virtual because we're in a virtual world. Okay, so we're gonna get some throw pillows and maybe some other decor pieces for the patio. We ordered some stuff offline or online, I guess. We ordered some stuff online. And it came offline because they had to deliver it. That's what she meant. We haven't gotten everything in the mail yet. So like we have some pieces coming in the mail and then some pieces like some like small pieces like pillows and decor. We thought, and also plants, we will get in person. Obviously because it's just Fall is my all time favorite season. So I was super excited when we went into at home and I saw that they had all the Halloween and the fall decor out. The best thing ever. So I decided to go with fall themed pillows because this is going to get cool in a few weeks so i wanted something that looked like it fit the season so we decided to look at this one you like it babe mm -hmm. in the south it gets cold in about three months but we're, we're good but you still want it to look like it fits the season oh <laughs> you're okay yeah. <laughs> i feel like these pillows feel fall-less even like the texture of them are pretty fall i love it we have landscape lights we have little lanterns. We have like baskets for little plants and we have our throw pillows. <laughs> so I think we are doing good. I think we're doing good. Okay, so we finally got our patio sectional sofa. We're super excited about it. You excited, babe? So excited. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna start building that stuff and you know, hopefully the patio starts to come together little by little because we have something special planned. What is it gonna look like when we're done? <laughs> Stay tuned. We'll see. Bye. Now we are shopping for, what are we shopping for? Like plants and shrubbery for around the patio. We want to just make the landscaping around the new patio look good because putting the concrete down kind of left it looking like, how would you say? Jank. <laughs> Jank, messy. It's like dirt everywhere. So we want to fix that and make it look more polished. So we're going to get some plants and pine straw to put around the patio. Ooh, look at these. These are so, um, this is a really nice perennial that I think I'm gonna grab because I think it's so pretty. And it's not even at bloom yet. This is a fall bloom. So it's gonna, it looks pretty without big bloom. And it, it'll, it'll look like, it'll look like this once it's at bloom, but even without it, it's still very pretty. What color flowers to get? Hmm. <laughs> that we're speaking the same language. I try to Jeez. drop those hints like, hey, let's go, let's just walk over here. 
Yeah, he's like, let's take a detour down the grill out. Mm -hmm. Top of the morning, we are about to do some landscaping around our new patio. It was raining so much yesterday. We were gonna do it yesterday. It was raining a lot, so we decided to get up this morning and get it done. David, if you can see him in the back there, he is getting some stray limbs out of the yard. And then we're gonna just start um, adding some shrubbery and some florals around the perimeter of our new patio. Okay, so all along the edging of this patio, you can see that it's like rocks and clay and it doesn't look very nice because they had to dig up the dirt and grass that was here in order to prepare the ground for the concrete. So it just kind of looks messy. So what we're gonna do is add dark um, potting soil or I guess fertilizer and new soil on top of this clay to kind of mix in with the clay. Then we're going to plant new shrubbery and we're gonna finish it off with some pine straw so that it'll look just nice and finished. Okay, so this is what we're thinking it'll look, how we'll have the plants, and so we'll have no plants in the center so that there'll be like room for people to step off of the patio into the yard if need be. So this is what we're thinking about how we'll set them out, something like this.
Okay, now everything is in the ground. We're gonna go back over it with soil. Preparing the grass for grass seed. Okay, I know what you're thinking. So you had all the beautiful greenery, the beautiful lighting and everything, but guess what? It's raining. But I'm about to build the table for our downstairs patio. I'm gonna take you on this journey. Stay tuned. But there's one note I'm gonna make before the unboxing. These boxes are so deceiving. They look really light, but they are not. And they're really long but I'm pretty excited to see what the table is gonna look like once it's done. Stay tuned. Building the legs on this table. Finally got the top side connected. So about to build the legs. It's coming together. Coming together. All right, so I got the legs on. Pretty cool legs, right? I like that little design. See that, like two U's. They connect, it's pretty cool. Got some little uh, stoppers and some sliders on the ground there. I like it. Show sure what it looks like when I flip it over. Voila, there you go. This is a pretty long table. You see it more in person once it's built, but it's beautiful. Got a nice little thickness there good you can take a little beating just with the wear and tear great table finished product finally it's time to put all the furniture out and decorate the space because this was a part of another shoot we were doing this day i don't have a ton of footage actually putting all the pieces together the accent chair here actually came from at home as well we got it half off it was the last one in the store here is David installing the light fixture. We got a plug-in light fixture that we could put on and take off. We got it from Ikea, so we just installed it with hooks. I was looking for a visually light and natural looking fixture that we could put outside over our outdoor dining table, and this one fit perfectly. I love how it looks in the space. For the dining chairs, I used the same metal chairs that I've used in previous videos for outdoor parties. These chairs came from Amazon, but I've had them for a long time because I had them in my previous home as well. Repurposing furniture that you've had for a while is a great way to reinvent the space without spending a ton of money. We also added hooks for hanging plants as well and this is where I added some color with the two hanging plants that I chose that were a deep burgundy color that just reminds me of cooler weather that is on the way. Here is how it turned out and I think we nailed it. This side is the lounge area with our sectional. It's great for conversations. We have the umbrella for shade. We have the nice fall pillows that just makes us want to sit outside on a beautiful fall evening and snuggle up with our blanket. What you don't see here are the curtains that I actually bought for the space, but I ended up not putting them up. I thought that it looked good without them, but later on I might see what they look like. For the dining space, we really wanted a dining space that fit eight people because we 
love to host outside. We wanted a big dining table downstairs because we have a smaller one upstairs. So I really love that. And then we had plenty of space for David's grill. He's also shopping for more grills. And we also added this two person space as well for small conversations. And later on we may bring up our fire pit, but right now it's not cool yet. So we left it deeper in the yard, but we have space for that as well if we choose to bring that up later. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And until next time, love star.